Hey guys, Dr. Dex here. Today I wanna to talk to you about a new green laser that Stabila is putting out. We're actually shooting this ahead of schedule. Uh, we are not able to share this with you yet until a later date. So we wanna uh, get this out to you as soon as we possibly can. As soon as we have that release date, this video will be launched. All right, this is called, oh, before I get into it, don't forget to click the subscribe button. Hit that bell icon to be notified when we're putting out new content. Still, only 17% of you subscribe to our channel, uh, trying to get that average up. So if you can, please do so uh, before watching this video. All right, with that being said, let's get into the nuts and bolts of this thing. So this model is has not been released yet. It's called the LAX600G. It's a green three axis laser, so it shoots horizontal, vertical, and also the cross uh, 90 degrees. So it'll shoot a 90 degree corner square, which is really cool for what we do in the field as far as trying to plumb something or square something. You can use it for a horizontal plane to cut down deck posts. You can also use it to square up the corner of a deck if you want to on the side of a house or on an outside corner. So I'll kind of give you a couple examples of that as we go, but let's go over what's included in the box and then we'll show you the functions of the laser. So the first thing it comes in is a really nice injection molded case that holds all the parts and pieces to the laser. This particular kit does not come with a receiver. This laser is pretty bright, okay? But it may not be bright enough for outside. I don't, I don't know of any laser that is. But green lasers are more visual than red. So this laser will be coming with us to the job site. It comes with one rechargeable battery. It comes with a charger as well. And I don't know if there's a certain format this is uh, designed after. This is a two amp hour battery. Uh, it's probably gonna last a while, but I don't know for how long. I will do some testing, or we could probably go to the Stabila webpage once this is on their website and find out. So you got one battery, one charger, you got your laser. It comes with a green laser identifier, which shows up really well once we turn it on. There's also a magnetic back on it. It looks, well, maybe that's not magnetic. It's a reflective back, which is kind of nice. So it really picks up the laser if you need to. It comes with a tripod mount. So the tripod, you have two different holes, sizes for your different size tripods. And then there's a tripod or a mount for the, the laser as well. So this tripod mount can mount to here. And what it does, what this allows you to do, instead of if, if you want to mount it to the tripod, you can mount it directly to the tripod or you can mount it to this device, which mounts to a tripod. There's a screw hole here, so you can mount it to any kind of a wood or metal structure if you want to. There's also a magnetic clip that you can attach this to, like so. So that connects to that. And then this can attach to metal joists, okay? So you can attach it horizontal, horizontally or vertically. And then there's a, a twist mechanism here that you can adjust for in and out so that you make sure you're within the four degrees of tilt. So what that means, four degrees of tilt, means that this laser has to be within a four degree tilt for it to work. So let's go ahead and turn it on. Now when you turn it on, one axis will be turned on. Usually it's the top, but it depends on, I think we'll find out like if, if that always is the first one to turn on or if it's gonna change as we go. So there's an on off switch right here and it's a slider. So off, on. I noticed the first couple times that I used it, I really had to push a little firmly to get it to turn on, but that's probably just cause it's so new. So right now we have, what axis is this? I'm gonna hide this from you for a sec. It doesn't really say this. I'm just gonna call this the top axis or horizontal axis. And then, or there's X, Y, and Z axis. We could call this the X axis, but I might be saying that wrong for all you people that are really into this, so forgive me. So your top axis is right here. Now I can turn on a second axis, which uh, this one's running this way. So we have one plumb running this way, one running this way, and then one's at a 90 degree angle to the vertical axis, which is kind of nice when you're trying to square something up. It's exactly square. Guaranteed exactly square. Let's see what look how this okay So you can kind of see how the laser shows up On this indicator right here for safety for a cameraman I'm turning the vertical axis off for a minute Okay, because you do not it even says it right on on each side of this avoid exposure You don't want to look at the green laser. It is pretty, but we don't want to look at it 
okay? You can kind of see this thing, as, as I bump this table, it moves around. But it's always gonna find level and it's always gonna find plumb. You just gotta leave it alone and don't touch it. And once it starts blinking, you're, you're not, it's not gonna be accurate, okay? So you just gotta pull it back into level. You can kind of see if you bump it, no big deal, man. It's gonna, it's gonna find itself. It's on a, on a pendulum or a plumb bob type of theory where it's always gonna remain accurate as long as you're not moving it and bumping it and that kind of thing. Probably what I'm gonna use this laser for the most is this axis here. I'm always trying to figure out when I'm building a deck, this level, always doing this on every single deck I build, every day we frame, I'm always trying to figure this one out. So that's what this thing for low level decks, like we have some bigger lasers that sit really high, but sometimes I gotta get lower than that. This thing only sits up about four inches off. If I just wanna put this right on the concrete and even shim it up if I have to, just to get it level, I can find every single place that I have to put a post, I can get the height with just this one setting. Now let's just say you want to square up a corner or something. First of all, when you're running this laser, there's always gonna be one axis on all the time. If you don't want any axis on, turn the laser off. But when you turn it on, here, something else I wanna know. Okay, so let's just say I wanna run this axis instead of this axis, I turn this off. Now I only have the one running. But if I turn it off and turn it back on, it always defaults to this axis first. So once you turn off the laser, this axis is always gonna turn on no matter what. If you don't want that axis and you want, let's say you want a square corner. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn on one of the other axes, my vertical, I'm gonna turn off my horizontal, and now I'm gonna put the other side, the face, so I can create a square. Now you've got every single one of these is a square corner, okay? So even, and they're plump, they'll run up the wall. So even if you want a square corner and find plumb up a wall and level, you can do all that at the same time. So I see interior people using this. This is a nice compact unit. It doesn't spin, so it's just on all the time. I'm not sure exactly how long this laser is gonna last, but we'll run a field test on it. And maybe we'll get an update back at you in a month or two about what we think about this laser. But I can actually square up a deck. I can square up a house. I can square up a lot of different things right here in this corner, okay? And then I can turn this, and even though this is moving a little bit, right, because I'm just unstable, once I let it go, you're dialed. That's a pretty cool feature. But like I said before, the one feature I'm gonna use the most on this thing is right here. I'm really excited to get this out to the job site. There's one more thing that I wanna try with this while I got you guys. Let's mount this onto a pole, and let's uh, show you guys, like, this is magnetic, so I'm probably gonna use this part. Um, this clamp, clamping mechanism isn't gonna work for me so hot right now. If you're like really need to be really super accurate or you need to dial in elevation, you can get this to here and tighten this up and then you can micro adjust your elevation so you can really dial in the height of what you got going on, which actually I'd probably use. I'd probably use that because um, then I'm not trying to readjust this. I can actually just dial this in and, and up and down and, and get that laser to move into the exact plane of where I want to cut all those posts flat on this entire deck, or maybe I don't have the post installed. Maybe I just have the, the bases and I just measure to the laser on each base. And I go around and I get every height and then I sharpie those numbers onto our footing base. And then the guys cut them to all the different heights, install them and boom, then we're just setting beams and we're off to the races. All right, so what I did was I just took an extension pole and tightened it up to whatever I had available to me. And I was able to mount the Stabila stuff to an existing pull clamp I have. And now I have this at whatever elevation I need. I can adjust it from here. I can put on the extra elevation piece and make it adjustable that way as well. That's a pretty cool feature. Again, if you need other accesses going, you can go all kinds of crazy disco if you want. When it's dark or in an indoor situation, this would work amazing. Exterior, it's gonna be a little tougher to see, but that's why we use green laser receivers. And I do have one on the job site, so I'll be bringing that to work to help identify the green laser out on the job site, especially if it's really sunny. If it's overcast, we may be able to see this. I can see this clear as day at 30, 40 feet interior, but exterior might be a different story. So we'll get back to you on that on an update. But thanks for watching guys, I really appreciate it. If you like what you saw, don't forget to click that subscribe button, hit that bell icon to be notified when we're putting out new content. Don't forget to like this video, hit that bell icon to be notified when we're putting out new content. Thanks for watching guys, have a great day.